So yeah. I'm here with Redford the dog, um, and honored to be here with Jonathan Dings. Um, you're running for Boulder City Council. I I I I, I am am, and I'm really excited by the opportunity. You know, yeah. um, one of the great things about uh, being engaged in this race is talking to a lot of people about what they think Boulder ought to be doing better. Yeah. Uh, and the many things they think it's do, doing really well, 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 well with. Yeah. Uh, so it's been a great experience that way, uh, and uh, uh, really for for me a chance to uh, talk and think out loud a little bit more about some of the issues that are of concern to me. Um, yeah, I just saw you at the environmental forum, or well, I don't know what it was called right. at the library. Um, yeah. What has your experience? I mean, what is it like to run for council? Are you enjoying it? Is it exhausting or? Well, so it is a little like drinking from the fire hose uh, uh -huh. in that uh, there are a lot of folks with um, concerns and uh, uh, right. wishing to know what is your position exactly on a, a pretty broad range of issues. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, one of the, the, the first things that we end up do, do, doing after uh, uh, qualifying for the, the, the race, right? right, getting enough people to come down to the city uh, clerk's office to sign the petition. Was that a fun day? Uh, Getting all your supporters and going in there. And right. Well, I, I, I did that. Uh, I, I got in the race a little bit later and a little less conventionally than, than, than uh -huh. some, some other folks. So I uh, actually ended up uh, rereading re 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 the paper. And though I'd been thinking about huh. running for council for some, some time, um, I noticed that a lot of the candidates had, uh, while they're not the same, uh, they, they, they mostly had a back, background that involved being on the planning board. Right. Uh, and that's great. It's a great thing to have some city council members who have planning board experience. Absolutely. The planning board decides on where things go and how high and how green or how not or that kind of thing. That, that, that's exactly right. Making recommendations to uh, council, yeah. uh, which ultimately votes on uh, most of these kind of things. Um, but. Uh, what, what I ended up seeing in, in the experience folks have was I, I didn't see a, as much human services background yeah. as as I hoped we would, Meg will we love would you have. For that. Oh, good. Yeah, she's been asking about like social issues and that kind of thing. We've been talking about the homeless and. Great, yeah. great. Well, that that's a conversation absolutely worth having. And well, one of the things that one of the conversations that that we, we and, 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 and end up having in, in Boulder on the this city. Uh, Human, human Relations Commission, uh, which I've been on for the last f five years, uh, and two of, the, two of the, those as a chair. Uh -huh. uh, um, and that, that, that experience for, for, for me uh, has been a, a really neat way to learn about all the nonprofits in Boulder who sure. work really hard to provide uh, services to help everybody m make it here. Uh, -huh. uh you know i i uh i've uh, really cherished that experience and i'm really pr proud to be part of a city that that goes out of its way to make sure that we try harder uh than that the, the, than some other places to make make things work for low low income folks yeah one, one of the ways for instance that we we do that is boulder has a failure to pay wage ordinance um that other places don't 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 have uh, which means that if a person such as a day laborer uh, gets treated in a way that's not fair, um, they're coming right to the city. It's a powerful ordinance. It's very local. Uh -huh. um, it's not a far, far removed, uh, get in line behind a lot of other people kind mm -hmm. of thing. So, so we, we really do some, we, we have some, some things in Boulder that we do better than other places uh, with that kind of work in mind. The other kind of thing that we do, do, do here a fair amount of is we, uh, we engage the community in ways to celebrate uh, the, the, the diverse background that we have here. Yeah. Um, and that, uh, you know, that kind of work, um, I, I think it's, it's not expensive uh, in the context of a huge city budget. Uh, and it is valuable as far as uh, helping us to be a, a really welcoming uh, environment. Well, that's interesting because one of the, probably the number one, I mean, Boulder gets every award on earth, you know, happiest, best place to retire, best bicycling, best this and that. Um, uh, but, you know, a number one complaint of everybody 
who ever visits here is obviously there's um, no diversity. And while we know that's not true, there's a lot of wonderful diversity that just isn't highlighted. Um, like 33% of our population is Latino or something relatively significant. Um, it's just not seen or acknowledged or part of daily life maybe. How, how do you bring, I guess, what social issues are you passionate about or, uh, you know, city services or, you know, what would you bring to the city council that maybe is, is not being highlighted right now? Well, as, as one of nine, nine votes, what yeah. I can hope for the most part to bring is the conversation and the reminder uh, that we need to think hard about these kind of issues. Yeah. Um, when the current year's proposed budget uh, involves less, less money for human s s s s services. Does it? Yep. Huh. And I, re I recognize there's an argument there that, well, the county is going to take over more. Uh, I, I am concerned, though, that we... Hmm. Uh, that we need to maintain funding and improve that over over time. So I'm here with Jonathan Dings. We just had a uh, commercial break for our sponsors. Not really. Um, and where were we at? We were talking about diversity, social issues you would bring to council that maybe yeah. otherwise wouldn't be highlighted. That's right. That's right. Well, what what I would hope, hope to bring is a, is, is a good, good way of uh, helping us think all the time about um, how do we take advantage of the, the, the partners we have in, in Boulder who are very in tune with trying to meet, meet the, the needs of every, 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 everybody. Yeah. Uh, when you have a social safety net that's built by uh, partners taking, taking care of such things as emergency family housing, um, you, you get to really leverage the good work and the good hearts of uh, a lot of people. Uh, who uh, who can recruit for volunteers, but but also who make it their livelihood yeah. to make sure that people's needs are met. Uh, again, this isn't a big part of the the Boulder budget, but by having a grant-based program where you uh, propose how various organizations might 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 meet needs that we know are out there. Um, you, you you really have a good good basis for um, moving forward. So maybe like philosophically, why do you see social services or or um, all of this as important to what Boulder is? Well, I've I've been working for the Boulder Valley School District for the last fifteen years. Pretty big job, right? Uh, it's a great job to have. Uh, you What's know, your I'm, role there? My my role is uh, chief of planning and. Assessment, uh, and what, what what I end up doing is trying to help people use data to improve practice over over, over time. So, uh, in lieu of you know looking at scores on t tests and just sort of sort of staying there, worrying about them, feeling bad about things that are are that aren't going as well, and feeling good about things that that, that are. The, the goal really is to improve practice over time by by by, 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 by reflecting on what we can learn about patterns that we see in data. So if we see, for instance, that, um, that low-income students are making gains that are a little bit better than what we see statewide, but not as strong as the gains that we see from um, students who aren't uh, receiving free and reduced lunch, um, mm -hmm. uh, then, then we have a bit basis for thinking about uh, what, what, you know, what, what, what can we ask about how we improve our practices that way going forward. Forward. Yeah. As a consequence of that 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 that, uh, that uh, work, I've gotten really interested in how Boulder, which is already trying hard yeah. to do do well by by folks, um, how we can do even better and what we can uh, uh, imp imp improve on over time. So, what can we generally, uh, you know, as a city councilor, let's say you're um, voted to be the, you know, absolute dictator king, what would you? What would you try and improve or maintain um, in terms of social services and all that? Sure. Well, I mean, I've mentioned some, some, some of these a little bit earlier, yeah. earlier but one, one of the, the places I would want us to think more about is uh, services to uh, youth. Um, there are some, there's, there's, there's some work that's done actually in schools. Uh, uh, for 
for the low income students, and I'd like to see more, 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 more of that. Um, I would like to see more, more, more work actually to engage volunteers overall. Um, you know, I, I, th I think that there's a great need for, for out out outreach and that there are a lot of people in Boulder who are just looking for w ways to help. Yeah, uh, I mean, you saw I, that with the flood. With the flood, it was, you know, ev I mean, everybody could come out trying to, you know, yeah. wanting to know. I mean, you know, neighbors, neighbors could come by and saying, so is there anything I can do today? Yeah. Uh, you know, so, so I think we've got we a We had college kids going by uh -huh. saying, how can we help? Um, and we're like, well, we need people with shovels, we need whatever, and, and they ran off to Home Depot and bought, you know, 16 shovels and came back. I mean, they were serious. They really wanted help. It was pretty cool. Great, yeah. great. Well, and, and I'd like to, to harness that energy all the time. Yeah. Uh, I, I would, you know, I think we can do a much better job in Boulder overall of when, when folks arrive here for school, yeah. Uh, that we do more outreach so that they feel much more part of Boulder uh, and and not, you know, they go to a great university that happens to be in Boulder. Um, I, at least my my sense is we, we can do, do, do more based on some long experience working in a smaller liberal arts college uh, administrative work. So I grew up here uh, with my mom, and um, you know we were super poor. Didn't you know? Um, we bought a house that um, you know certainly there's not that kind of affordable housing available anymore. We didn't have a car. We biked everywhere, um, and I ate uh, you know school lunches, uh, whatever you call it, the free school yep. lunch program. Yep. Um, so let's say you know for single moms or single dads uh, or poor families generally. Um, you know, how is it to live in Boulder now? Is it, and how could it be helped? Like, could there be more bike lanes? Could there, you know, what would you like, how, how could you, how could city council help? Well, I'd, I'd, I'd like, like us to first start by, by saying, how is it we can make it that people have the most options to get around? Yeah. Um, I think that, 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 Community-wide eco pass uh, will 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 improve in some ways folks' ability to to make it here at a basic level, having transportation. Uh -huh. um, so, what would that mean? That anyone with a job can get a free eco pass? Is that the idea? Well, well. So the particulars have to be worked worked out. But um, some some money needs to be put towards making it so that anybody who lives lives in Boulder, uh, and there's also provision for people who work 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 in Boulder can can get an eco pass. Um, there are already are neighborhoods that have the neighborhood eco pass, but really? those those huh. tend to be more well to do, to do in any neighborhoods huh. that rather than. Uh, that's, that's kind of a concentration. You would think you'd want the poorer neighborhoods to. So the neighborhoods themselves pay for the eco pass, or? Uh, right. They're, Through. They're, yeah. Huh. Um, Interesting. So, so, so I'd like to see more of more of that kind of option for folks. Um, I, you know, the, uh, the, the, it is far, 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 far as me, me being needs around housing. Um, that's a really tough challenge that we have. Yeah. Uh, we're out of space uh, yeah. to, to, to build, except in fairly limited areas like Boulder Junction. Uh, and there, uh, I, 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 I want us to build, uh, build the kind of things that are, that are being talked about now that include some some uh, building smaller uh, and building more affordable, yeah. yet building n n n n nice affordable uh, uh, and not just trying to build the cheapest thing to meet, meet a requirement. Yeah. Um, and then in terms of uh, maybe touching on a couple of other issues I haven't asked about, like municipalization, obviously is sort of the topic of the day, I think, on some level. Yeah. Where are you at with that? I'm for the the clean 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 cleanest energy we can 
before it. Yeah. Uh, and I hope people are going to vote no, 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 no on uh, three, three, three to ten because that will really take take away Boulder's opportunity. Uh, to f f f f figure out uh, how, uh, how how uh, f f f f it's it's its own municipal utility will 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 work will work and the and it it will be taking away too the option we we have to really bargain for or build our own very clean power sources. Yeah. Uh, working with uh, wind power, particularly some s s s solar. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, it's a it's a real, uh, you know, folks worked very hard a couple of years back to to pass uh, a set of good 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 uh, good, good con con conditions that will outline the, the framework for how we would move. Forward, so I, so I, I really hope we're moving, moving along that way, and that, uh, yeah. and what, and what I would add to the conversation uh, is a, a new, 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 new voice, uh, and a real respect for looking at data, but having some heart. I mean, um, I, I would like the cost of municipalization to be very low, and to have the conversation be a slam dunk. Easy, uh, and, that, and that even folks now who aren't as sh sure about it will feel p p positive. Right. Uh, I, I recognize, though, it may be a little more expensive than to be a slam dunk obvious. Um, I'm, and what I'm, I'm committed to is looking at the d d data hard, honestly, fairly, uh, and uh, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully in the, in the end, having this be something we can move f forward with uh, yeah. on our own new clean systems. Well, from my perspective, I mean, having been somewhat involved over the years with it, uh, that issue, um, Excel is certainly making incredible profits off of us. Um, it's not exactly like what they're doing is that affordable compared to what we could do if we owned it ourselves and, um, you know, obviously had more control and we'd probably be happy to partner with them if they played, uh, you know, a fair game of, of ball, but right now they're playing hardball, so... Um, Anyway, it's, it's interesting. Um, I'm sure there's a lot we haven't talked about. I think we're, we're at two minutes. Is there anything um, I haven't brought up that you'd like to mention? Uh, you know, um, on, only that uh, that what I'll hope to bring to 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 be, being 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 on council is a broad range of experience. Uh -huh. um, you know, I. Uh, I've I've had had the opportunity to, 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 to as my, my kids have gotten older uh, and are now in college or at the end, end of high school mm -hmm. uh, to 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 experience Boulder uh, uh, in, in 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 some pretty neat neat uh, neat, uh, neat neat ways. I really value my youth yeah. so, 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 talk coaching experience. Um, that well, was that real soccer? positive. Yep. Yeah. Fun. Yep. Uh, fun, fun, and a you know way to, to appreciate you know what Boulder has to offer as far as the the, the work around parks that right. uh, help make that possible. Uh, right. And the, uh, the again with youth soccer, the many volunteers who are uh, making positive things happen. Yeah. Um, I've, I've also you know while I'm not the only uh, person uh, who rides rides a, rides, rides a bike. I am a seasonal bike commuter, uh, and uh, uh, have some first-hand appreciation for and experience with uh, what we offer as far as trails and open space that that helps make Boulder uh, Boulder the kind of place that they, that it is and the kind of place that's appealing. I mean, uh, um, we haven't talked a lot about the the. The economic vitality of Boulder, but a real key to Boulder being a place business is what we want to be is to keep up our outstanding quality of living. Amen. Yeah, I really, I definitely see that. Um, you know, we have a strong business community because it's such a livable, um, socially progressive, and environmentally uh, heavenly 
environment. So thank you, Jonathan Dings. It's great to meet you.